We told you earlier about some new programs that TV3 is adoring and it's going to make your TV viewing experience spectacular. I've been joined this morning by Nanakwe Joado. He's the head of entertainment, lifestyle and events here at Media General. Also with me is the legendary Ivan Kwashiga. He is the chief servant at Farmhouse, the producers of YOLO, You Only Live Once. And also another Ivan, Edumwa Abrantia. Uh, he is a cast in YOLO. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How are we all? Mm. Blessed yeah, it's good to be blessed. Right. Chief, good to see you one more time. Yeah, good to see you And too. keep up the good work. Sweet work. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Let, let's start off. Mm -hmm. So, Ken, what new programs are we delighting our viewers with this time around? Well, Johnny, um, like I always come here and I talk about good things. I mean, it's just right that this morning we are here to talk about what TV3 is bringing again out of the stables. Um, we... We have had great programs in the past and we still continue to churn out good programs. And so come this Saturday, we are churning out three new programs on the network. We are talking about YOLO season two. Mm -hmm. We are talking season about five. Se season, season five. five. Oh, season five. Yeah. Wow, I missed out on that. <laughs> so YOLO season <laughs> five. And then Kids Say the Dundest Things mm. as well is coming up. And then Yellow Pepper is also showing this or premiering this Saturday. Okay. So g g give me a brief background. Yellow Pepe. Mm. Uh, is it the Ojeng Mashito that we know? <laughs> <laughs> well, Pepe is something that we use for food. And mm. so when you talk about food, we talk about um, kitchen. Right. And so uh, this particular program is a drama, a 13 week drama series about intrigue and all of that. It's thought provoking, exciting, and has some humor in there as well. Um, lead actress um, is Anita Esking on there so what we are talking about is women balancing their personal aspirations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with i mean home and lifestyle what they're doing is that we are looking at uh, women who are trying to balance all of that providing nutritious and healthy food for the family mm -hmm. whilst balancing with their personal aspirations okay. so we have you know working women who are working a lot lately mm -hmm. you know finding you know making ends meet for family at the same time uh, trying to balance meals for the home. I see. You see, so it's, so it's like a trend that's happening okay. that's been dramatized mm. into, into this particular the, the corporate woman and how the she can manage. Woman. And what you see on your screen are snippets of uh, Yellow Pepper. Exactly. The Anita S. King is on there. Exactly. So you can see swampshirts. So it's five women. Five it's women. It's a story about five, five women okay. who are actually balancing uh, their life, family lives, you know, to also make sure that they are achieving their corporate aims. Mm and goals as well. YOLO season five, you only live yes. once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After that, mm -hmm. uh, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. Chief, congratulations one Thank more you. time. Thank YOLO you. is a very superb <coughs> concept. Mm. Remarkable indeed. We've mm -hmm. traveled through five seasons. Yeah. What are we to expect in this mm -hmm. fifth season? Yeah. Well, the, the, you know, the issue that we deal with adolescent reproductive health is still with us mm. and uh, so young people are always confronted with these issues uh, wanting to belong mm. to the, the, the group the, the age group and also to, to function within that group mm. is something that uh, uh, they, they, they find quite challenging so mm. we're dealing with that uh, we have t uh, peer pressure we have um, uh, we're still dealing with malaria, mm -hmm. we're dealing with uh, personal hygiene yeah. and those things uh, that we have dealt with before. Uh, the thing is that this uh, season's uh, episode five, mm -hmm. uh, season five, uh, moves into the body house. But okay. it also has the, the, the old okay. story okay. still okay. going on okay. with Drogba, Abrantia, George, all of them still going on. But we also have some new young people mm -hmm. who are coming into to, to bring some spice to it and make it even more interesting. Hey, don't worry. Mm. You, you are here. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, number five. You're number five. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel to be part of such a, a great concept that's impacting lives in many different ways? Um, you know, it's always pretty tough to talk about something that is, was a new experience that has had such an impact in your life. Okay. Um, but then it's, it's amazing. First of all, it's it's, it, you also feel like you have left a legacy behind because it's not something that is just there for entertainment, mm -hmm. but it's something that is teaching people how to do things the right way. Okay. And, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> what role are you playing in there? I play a role of a brand here. A brand um, here? Yes. Are you a bad boy? No. 
<laughs> not really. <laughs> who, who is Abrantia in Yolo? Uh, so Abrantia is the owner of a barbering shop. So the barbering shop is basically the place where most of the boys come to hang out and okay. exchange information and basically cool off. Mm. It's a hangout spot for the boys. So mm. lots of things happen in the barbering shop. Abrantia is a barber. He owns the barbering shop too. Mm. What, what does Yolo expect to achieve? I mean, the seasons will come and go. But what do you expect to achieve overall? Well, you know, YOLO generally it's about um, uh, entertainment. We, we're using a, the, the concept of educating people through entertainment, mm. the young people through entertainment. So when you watch the episode, each episode ends with uh, uh, some questions mm. that would is supposed to help spice up mm. uh, uh, the discussions that uh, are going to come out of the issues that we would have uh, uh, dealt with okay. in that episode. Mm. So we are expecting that the young people are supposed to learn mm. uh, from the, the issues that we'll be bringing up. Mm. They are supposed to pick up the messages that we drop in. Okay. We make sure that we spice those messages with the entertainment bit so it's not like over the top mm. and in your face. Okay. But we expect them to learn. And then the other thing too that we do is that we have a very vibrant um, uh, um, Facebook and uh, social media uh, presence. Right. So the young people are supposed to engage us in on those uh, platforms. Mm. Uh, we're also hoping to come out with a radio uh, 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 discussion program okay. that is supposed to also get more uh, traction and mm. also to get these young people mm. discussing the issues uh, uh, more mm. with themselves and also with their parents and also uh, people that are older than them that know uh, the right things to do I see. and also be able to up, uh, take up um, the, the, the health facilities that are available to them, like the health corners in the, the hospitals mm. around the mm. country mm. Uh, that, that deals with issues relating young people mm. and that they have people who are trained who can uh, uh, really in confidence engage these young people if they have issues relating uh, 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 tra sexually transmitted infections mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So these are things uh, uh, that we expect them to pick really, from. Really, from, really from, packed from, if you ask yeah. me. Ivan, how do you handle the pressure from, from town? They see you on the screens, <laughs> perfect art <laughs> direction, <laughs> nice storyline, yeah. fine boy, <laughs> <laughs> see you out there. You're trying to preach a certain message and yeah. you get pressure. Ivan, Ivan. <laughs> Ivan, <laughs> senior <laughs> and junior. <laughs> no, I'm, talking, I'm talking to junior <laughs> Ivan. Senior <laughs> Ivan has seen so much pressure. <laughs> He's used to it. He's used to how it. are you? Yeah. Uh, I think it forces you to grow up, basically. It forces you to grow up in such a short time because before nobody really knows you. And then because of YOLO and then the chance that Ivan gave us to star on the show, mm -hmm. now everybody knows you. And because the message that you're preaching, now everybody expects something from you, expects some reaction from you when mm -hmm. some things happen. Right. So um, it's something that really forces you to grow up, to mature really, really quickly, mm -hmm. to take responsibility of some things that probably you might not have taken as early as you should have. I see. Understand. So, yeah. I see. Let's turn our attention now to kids say the darndest things. Right. They, the children have a lot of wits. Mm. In, in the promo I saw, they That's have right. a lot of wits. <laughs> you know, as teaching time saves nine and she fires back. That's right. When are we seeing that? What's the, what's the reason behind that as well? Well, I mean, we also have, you know, for the past nine to ten years, we've had talented kids on TV too. Absolutely. And so, of course, we, are, we have something for the children every time on our screens. So Monday to Friday, we have something on screen around 4 p.m. and then Talented Kids is on Sunday seasonally. But this time, on the Saturday evening block at 5.30, uh, we're presenting Kids Say. You know, okay. Kids Say has a host and then a number of kids lined up and they are expressing their thoughts, okay. their opinions, and whatever they think mm. about a particular subject area. It could be government, family, politics, current okay. affairs, social, anything at all. Mm. So there is a host who is engaging these kids okay. with a studio audience and the kids will express themselves how they understand whatever right. the host is asking them. So that is exactly what you're seeing on your screen on right hindered. now. <laughs> Unhindered. <laughs> Unadulterated. <laughs> Raw. You okay. know, and, and that's it. That's the excitement and the humor that we are trying to bring mm. out. And also education again for the kids. And at the end of the day, they are going to learn something out of whatever is being discussed. Okay. So Let, let's talk about the times mm. uh, that will put these shows Beautiful. on the So air. It's, it's a block on Saturday, actually. So we are talking about Kids Say that's coming up at 5.30 p.m. Okay. on Saturday, then followed by Yellow Pepe at 6 p.m., mm -hmm. and then followed by Yellow at 6.30 p.m. I see. Wow. So when, so when you sit behind your TV, 
um, you are not getting up. Non-stop action. You are, you are not getting up. And, you, know. you better get some popcorn because it's going to be exciting. Yeah. I, 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 how do you grab the cast to, to come on to YOLO? Because year after year, we've seen an improvement of the cast, mm -hmm. the quality, yeah. and the expertise with which they deliver. Most of them are first timers, mm -hmm. but you're able to sharpen and hone them to, yeah. to come out as professionals. How do you do the magic? Well, well, first of all, we do a very wide search for these people and uh, for a character. We could look at uh, over 50 to 100 people uh, for maybe a Brantiesk uh, character. We okay. could be looking for loads and loads of people. So our auditions are ongoing every, almost every day mm. looking for these people. And then when we find them, sometimes we keep them till the opportunity arrives and okay. then we, we give them the, the chance to act in, in YOLO. But then also we, we, we try as much as possible to work with people within their comfort zone. Mm. So we, I do extensive interviews with these people to make sure that uh, I, I place them within their own life experience so that uh, being first time actors, I do not challenge them so much that, the, so I hide their faults, okay. more or less. I, I, see. I try as much as possible mm. to, to make sure that I don't expose you. Mm. So where you are not, you may not be that good, I would work with you and right. engage with you and make sure that I, I bring out the best I can from you. We say when there's a Kwashiga on set, <laughs> you're safe. <laughs> <and> secure. <laughs> Let's pick your closing thoughts, Abrantia. What do you have to say? 30 mm. seconds for you, and mm. Ken will take over from there. Okay, so Yoli is an amazing show. It's coming to teach a lot. Um, just like Ivan said earlier, we just hope that in imbibing the whole lesson with entertainment that everybody gets to absorb it as much and then we can change as many 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 lives as possible I see in the positive direction that right <laughs> the positive direction can you have the final word definitely of course I mean like we're saying TV3 always first in news best in entertainment we stand for entertainment and when I come I talk entertainment mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. once again Saturday 5 30 p.m. we have kids say mm. for all the kids and even adults as well for the right. humor and excitement mm. in it and then at, five, at 6 p.m. Mm. we have yellow pepper drama again with humor and intrigue and all of that and then 6 30 p.m we have yolo season five coming mm -hmm. up so you don't have anywhere to go on saturday make sure you are glued by tv3 of course first in news best in entertainment don't waste your saturdays make it exciting because it's been spiced and spruced up for your entertainment and relaxation all in your tv3 thank you nana quadrado is head of entertainment lifestyle and events at media general ivan edumwa is playing a brand here yeah. in Yellow Season 5. You can't miss him, fine boy, no, they pay. <laughs> and uh, the chief servant at uh, the farmhouse, also a lecturer and a man of many parts, Ivan Kwashiga. Thank you very much for coming, gentlemen. Thank we'll you. see you on the other side. But coming